Why is China drilling a hole in the earth? Throughout history, humanity has sought answers by looking up at the sky. We've studied the stars with telescopes, launched rockets into space, and even reached Mars with robots. But there's a striking pattern. Almost all of this progress has been directed upwards. What about the opposite direction? Has anyone considered why descending into the Earth's depths has been so much less preferred? It's because going down is far more difficult and much more dangerous than going up. Yet China has decided to push this boundary. The main question here is, why is China drilling a hole in the Earth? In 2023, China initiated one of the world's deepest drilling projects in an arid region north of the Taklamakan Desert. The goal is not just to reach physical depth, but also to access natural resources and geological data at these depths, seeking direct answers to many limited questions from beneath the surface. The project aims to reach a depth of 11,100 meters, expected to pass through 10 major geological layers of the Earth. This scope is far beyond a typical drilling operation, as it aims to collect both scientific data and strategic resource information. Geologically, this depth means reaching rock formations that formed over 100 million years ago. However, the immense resources China is dedicating to this project are driven by a more tangible reason than mere scientific curiosity. Energy. The drive for energy independence. China is currently the world's largest energy consumer. With a population exceeding 1.4 billion, a massive industrial base, and rapid urbanization, its annual energy demand is constantly increasing. The country still meets a significant portion of its electricity generation with coal. However, this model is under pressure due to its environmental impact and long-term unsustainability. At this critical juncture, alternative underground energy sources, specifically deep geothermal systems, gas hydrates, shale gas, and similar reserves, have begun to play a central role in China's future energy policies. The target depth of this drilling project carries enormous potential, particularly for supercritical geothermal reservoirs. The fluids in these systems exhibit both liquid and gas properties under extremely high temperature and pressure, which translates into much higher efficiency for energy production. Compared to traditional geothermal plants, these systems can generate many times more thermal energy from the same volume. Furthermore, China is heavily reliant on foreign energy, ranking at the top globally for oil and natural gas imports. According to 2022 data, approximately 70% of China's crude oil demand is met through imports. This creates both a financial burden and a geopolitical vulnerability. This drilling project, conducted by the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the China National Petroleum Corporation, is a direct response to these multi-layered needs. Where and why? The Agriculture Basin China's deep drilling began with a critical site selection, as determining where to drill is as important as how deep. The initial location chosen was the Agriculture Basin, situated within the borders of the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. The Tarim Basin is one of the largest sedimentary basins in western China, and its geological structure, in terms of heat, pressure, and thickness, is highly suitable for deep drilling. A key reason for this choice is that the Earth's crust here is approximately 16 kilometers thick. This allows the drill to potentially reach a point closer to the crust mantle boundary. The Tarim Basin is also rich in hydrocarbon reserves. Previous shallower drilling operations in the area have uncovered data on underground gases, oil reserves, and geothermal flows. The new bore aims to see how these resources continue at much deeper levels. Therefore, the chosen site is prominent not only for its thick crustal structure, but also for its potential reserves. It's also worth noting that this project isn't limited to the Tarim Basin. China plans to start a similar super deep drilling operation in the Sichuan Basin as well. Located in the southwest of the country, the Sichuan Basin is one of China's most active geological regions, characterized by a complex tectonic structure. This means every point where drilling begins is chosen carefully, taking into account features that best represent the complex structures beneath the surface. A layered history, uncovering 100 million years, 
The Earth's internal structure is like a history book, built layer by layer. Immediately beneath the topsoil, different geological eras of rock are stacked. Each layer represents millions of years of accumulated sedimentary, magmatic, or metamorphic structures. These structures offer not only physical but also temporal data. China's target depth of 11 kilometers requires physically drilling through a large portion of these layers. What information from past eras might be encountered at this depth? Calculations suggest that reaching this depth will tap into layers dating back over 100 million years. This means encountering rocks, sediments, and possibly organic traces from the Earth's prehistoric periods. The data obtained at this depth will include not just rock structures, but also clues about past climatic conditions. For instance, salt structures in certain layers can indicate long periods of drought, while carbonized sediments may carry traces of plant life. It's also possible to find evidence of ancient seafloors or structural fractures left by tectonic collisions. As the drill goes deeper, not only does the temperature increase, but uncertainty grows. The exact duration of formation for each layer, the changes they underwent, and the specific data they hold are still largely unknown. There is an information gap built on assumptions that cannot be confirmed until the drill reaches it. The Earth's layers hold history, but accessing it is difficult, with challenges increasing significantly as you drill deeper. This is why historical deep drilling attempts have faced both technical limitations and nature's resistance. The first country to attempt the kind of depth China is aiming for was the Soviet Union, beginning one of the world's deepest boreholes on Russia's Kola Peninsula in 1970. The project, known as the Kola Super Deep Borehole, lasted 19 years, aiming for 15 kilometers. However, in 1989, when they reached 12,262 meters, the temperature was much higher than expected, halting the drilling. This depth remains one of the deepest points ever reached by humans. Other notable deep drilling projects include Germany's KB project in the 1990s, which reached approximately 9.1 kilometers. It collected crucial data on acoustic properties, temperature distributions, and fluid movements in the rocks. Japan's research vessel Chikyu managed to collect data on submarine tectonics by drilling about 7.5 kilometers from the ocean floor. The Berta Rogers Well in Oklahoma, USA, drilled down to 9.5 kilometers. However, most of these previous projects were either for energy exploration or had limited scientific goals. China's initiative is claimed to be both deeper and far more comprehensive than these historical efforts. The question is, can China truly break this record? A depth of just a few kilometers beneath the surface may sound reachable, but the difficulty of drilling increases geometrically once a certain level is hit. As the drill goes deeper, not only does the density of the rock change, but so do the physical conditions encountered. The most fundamental problem is heat. For roughly every kilometer of depth, the temperature increases by an average of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. This means a 10-kilometer borehole could encounter temperatures between 250 and 300 degrees. When the Kola Super Deep Borehole's temperature exceeded 180 degrees, the drilling equipment began to deform. Steel alloys softened, drilling fluids lost their properties, and sensors stopped working. Deep drilling means constantly resisting high heat. Heat isn't the only problem. As depth increases, the pressure on the rocks also mounts exponentially. At depths below 10,000 meters, rocks can behave almost like a liquid. The challenge isn't a solid structure that must be drilled, but a medium that fluidizes and constantly changes shape under extreme pressure, making it difficult to maintain the drill string's direction or even extract it. Furthermore, the non-homogeneity of geological structures is a significant barrier. The drill may encounter extremely hard granites in some layers and brittle shales in others. Some cause high wear on the drill bit, while others can lead to sudden collapses. Pressurized gases or molten fluids encountered in areas with fluid flow can cause uncontrolled blowouts. In addition to these physical challenges, there are technical infrastructure issues. The requirements for continuously operating drill bits over thousands of meters, heat-resistant electronic sensors, 
and maintaining the stability of drilling fluid under varying pressure and temperature are engineering feats that only a few nations have managed to solve. Deep drilling, therefore, transforms into a technological test as much as a scientific one. If reaching the depth is difficult, the technology needed must also push boundaries. The equipment used in China's drilling project operates with systems far more advanced than typical oil or geothermal rigs. These systems feature specialized drilling hardware made from high strength, flexible, yet robust materials that resist high temperature and pressure. Temperatures at 10 kilometers can exceed 200 degrees Celsius and pressure can surpass 1,000 atmospheres. Drill pipes working in this environment are not only made of high-strength steel alloys, but also of hybrid composite materials that can tolerate thermal expansion. The inner surfaces of the pipes are protected with special coatings to reduce friction and resist chemical erosion. The drilling process is often augmented by vibratory or percussive techniques instead of purely rotary systems. This allows high-resistance layers to be penetrated without causing excessive wear on traditional drill bits. The drill bits used are often coated with polycrystalline diamond, maintaining durability even in hard rock. Data monitoring is also critical. Measurement while drilling systems are used for this purpose, wirelessly transmitting data on temperature, pressure, fluid composition, and deviation to the surface. This data stream allows for real-time detection of micro-tremors, crack formations, or fluid leaks that occur during drilling. On the surface, drilling fluid management is a separate engineering challenge. The drilling fluid is responsible for carrying rock cuttings to the surface and stabilizing the well bore wall. However, its chemical composition must be constantly adjusted according to the depth. Otherwise, the fluid could freeze in the well or cause a blowout, risking the entire system. The flawless operation of all these systems depends not only on the technological infrastructure but also on the real-time decision-making skills of the surface engineers. Every operation performed at this depth can have irreversible consequences. If a connection point loosens, a sensor fails to send data, or the drill bit wears out prematurely, the entire project could stall. Thus, the drilling system is not just a pipe extending beneath the ground, but it's a complex chain of decisions stretching from the surface to the Earth's center. The resources at stake. What resources are expected to be encountered at these depths? Geothermal energy. This is one of the first resources expected. Heat radiating from hot rocks beneath the crust can be transferred by fluid movement and used for energy production. Supercritical fluids, where water exhibits both liquid and gas properties simultaneously allow for much more efficient heat transfer. These systems can generate several times more energy than conventional geothermal plants. Hydrocarbon deposits. Another common feature in deep drilling is hydrocarbon deposits, including oil, natural gas, and gas hydrates. The existence of oil and gas reserves accumulated under high temperature and pressure in buried sedimentary basins has long been known. Areas like China's Tarim Basin are rich in this regard. The new drilling can help define the boundaries of previously inaccessible deep reservoirs, metals and mineral reserves. Metal and mineral reserves found at depth are also noteworthy. Elements like lithium, boron, and gallium dissolved in some geothermal systems are critical for energy technologies. These elements can exist as ions circulating in underground fluids, and can be extracted using special methods. China is known to view this project not only for energy, but also as a strategic mineral exploration effort. Unconventional energy sources. Unconventional energy sources like methane hydrates found deep within the earth also present significant potential. The methane trapped within these ice-like structures contains vast amounts of energy. However, the unstable nature of these structures makes their extraction technically complex. Therefore, their discoverability must be carefully evaluated alongside their extractability. The significance of now, a strategic move. China's deep drilling project launched in 2023 is not a coincidence in timing. The necessary conditions for such an undertaking, in terms of technological infrastructure, political alignment, and energy strategy, have aligned for the first time Recent developments in drilling systems, data transmission protocols, 
high temperature resistant materials, and AI supported analysis systems have made this project technically feasible. Why now? Because going this deep previously meant not just knowledge, but immense risk. However, over the last decade, China has increased its infrastructure investment and engineering capacity to a level where it can execute such projects on a national scale. Not only the drilling machinery, but also the cadres of scientists, geologists, and engineers required to analyze the data are now ready to sustain these projects. Furthermore, this initiative can be seen as part of China's effort to strengthen its position in the global energy and technology race. Deep geothermal energy, gas hydrates, and rare elements are all of strategic value for future energy independence, manufacturing power, and geopolitical influence. China views access to these resources not merely as a scientific achievement, but as an extension of its national development plans. The timing of the project is also part of an international competition. In recent years, the US, Germany, and Japan have also focused on deep drilling. However, China is moving ahead with a project that specifically targets the thickest crustal structures of the Earth. Unlike projects focused solely on seabed or oil exploration, technically this represents a bold entry into a much more complex field. The time and the terrain are ready for this project for the first time simultaneously. This is not just a drill hole, it is a new door opening to the unknown. And this time, the one opening the door is looking down, not up. We've reached the end of another video, friends. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. We'll learn a lot from the videos I share. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my new videos. See you in the next video.